Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dalton Rullinger. I am not going to bother trying to roleplay this 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 episode because I'm completely out of touch <laughs> with, with roleplaying. Uh, as you could probably see in the previous episode, I'm, I've kind of lost my touch a little bit. Uh, but yeah, in the previous episode, we bought the junk. 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 Uh, I'm going to call it the, the junk just because um, it's, it's habit at this point. And... We're going to head out to Crab Beach. Ideally, I would not be doing this in the middle of a storm, but I've already got the ship loaded up with some cargo. Um, let's see here. We've got Black Tobacco going to Crab Beach, which is due in two days. Um, got some Brown Tobacco, and then we've also got some Lamb. So everything is due in two days. Which I don't think should be a problem. This, this ship should be more than fast enough to uh, to get us there. But I've also got some... Um, some other brown tobacco, apparently. That, that, that This is a trade, trade good. And then I've also got some rice. Uh, so we'll be making a decent profit uh, with, with trading at, at bare minimum. Uh, even if we weren't going to make a decent profit, I believe the missions alone are, yeah, they're, they're not, like, spectacular, but they're, they're far from, from bad as well, so, yeah, let us go ahead and try and cast off here. We're kind of facing directly into the wind, which isn't really that great. But maybe I can get kind of turned around here. Because the wind does push you back. Although, to be fair... The wind's kind of pushing me into the, into the dock. So maybe what I should do... Is try and have the wind push me back while also kind of giving this old girl a bit of a push. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Now straighten out before we hit the dock. Check our rear here. Okay, and I might be able to get some forward momentum going on here now. But before I try that, I'm going to try and... Straighten out here a little bit. Okay. Um, I guess raise the mainsail first. And then let's try and rush up here. Oh, this is... Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Whew. I don't think we have enough momentum to make this turn, so we're going to have to sail around the long way. Which I suppose is fine. It gives us a bit more time to practice with this with this new boat this wind is gonna make life difficult Let 
we should be catching wind. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's... It's going to take me forever to, like, remember what does what. You control that. You control the mainsail. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's the wrong thing. There we go. With the stern sail, like, completely locked, it's hard to actually steer, so you want to free that up a little bit. Now, I'm so glad to finally have this boat, because the Kakum, it takes on water so easily. Like, it's not even funny. The amount of times I sank whenever I was trying to go to uh, Firefish Lagoon or, hell, even Happy Bay, it was just a nightmare. Okay, uh, you're supposed to keep turning, boat. Uh, are we going to make this? I don't think we're going to make this. Bonk. <laughs> okay, so she's not as responsive as I remember her being. I will say that much. Oh, God, now there's another rock directly in front of us. Thankfully, we can avoid that one. <laughs> I'm glad there's no ship damage implemented into the game yet. That would be embarrassing. Get the boat, then the first thing that happens is you lose it to, to a rock. Alright, there's, there's the gates. Can we... make it between... Actually, I don't think we're going to have to. Yeah, we should be fine to make this turn coming up. Should be. Are you... Yes, you are the one that turns. Okay. Okay. the shallow area over here. This is pretty much my main warning to any other player that plays this. Over here, there's a lot of underwater rocks that are impossible to spot until you're right up next to them. Uh, Sim Gamer TV can definitely express his anger on that one. <laughs> And now that we have these new mooring lines, there's no real easy way of, uh, unhitching your boat without recovering it, re without recovering it, so it's more important to pay attention to where you're going now more than ever.
All right, well, let's take this old girl out to sea and see what all she can do. Why do I hear the, the sails constantly flapping around? They're, they should all be catching wind. It's kind of annoying. Let's see here, see if I can get a good screenshot. That's not bad. Neither is that. Darn waves. Just trying to get some really good screenshots I can potentially use for a, for a thumbnail. Coolio. All right. Let's, let's take her to sea and stretch her legs. Destination is already in sight. Take her to sea, Mr. Murdoch. Let's stretch her legs. Actually, I probably shouldn't be quoting the Titanic movie, should I? That's uh, <laughs> that's probably not a good thing to do on a on a maiden voyage. To to be fair, probably not a not a wise idea. Oh, but I feel so much better being out here in the open ocean. Well, we're not technically in the open ocean right now, but you know what I mean. I feel a lot safer being on board one of these bigger boats, that's that's for sure. The Kakum, it, it took on water just so, so easily. And if you're wondering how I got so much money so quickly, um, I went out to Happy Bay yesterday. And I got extremely lucky whenever I got there. Um... Basically what happened was I came across a mission that was bringing gold back to gold to to the to the Dragon Cliffs and it paid like 23,000 emerald drag uh, yeah emerald dragons and I said there's no way I can pass that up and I kind of cheated I recovered the boat just to come straight back to the Dragon Cliffs cuz it was late at night and I had to go to bed soon Uh, but yeah, that's how I got so much money so quickly. It would have been more, but I, I kind of ran into a disaster yesterday whenever I was uh, heading out there. Um, I exited the game to take care of some stuff and came back. And whenever I loaded in the game, all my cargo had just exploded all over the place. Like I lost uh, a good chunk of my water. I lost, I had like only two bits of salmon left to eat i was able to recover a good portion of of the cargo but yeah a lot of it was just completely lost and i'm not gonna lie i kind of i kind of raged because like there that was a bug that was just completely like how has that been allowed to to exist in the game It was the first time I ever encountered it, too. Yeah, it would have been a lot more had I actually not had that happen. I probably could have bought the 
the junk twice over if I had actually successfully completed those missions, but alas, I guess it just wasn't to be. I barely made it to Happy Bay, actually. Like, I was just about to starve to death whenever I was arriving. Because I had no food, I was basically out of water. It, it just was not a fun time all around. I think I still had one barrel of water, but yeah. The Cacum, it just, it, it can't hold cargo as much as, as much as I want. <laughs> but the junk, I, I definitely love the junk. It is, it's, it's probably not my favorite boat, but, I mean, she is a very reliable boat. It has to be said. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed, and I will see you guys... It is very dark in here. I will see you guys in the morning. Well, it's not morning yet, but I think it's safe to say we might have passed our uh, destination a little bit. Because that's got to be the Dragon Cliffs, which means that over there is Crab Beach. I'm going to turn into the wind... Actually, I'm going to sail like this for a ways. That way I'm not fighting the wind completely all the way there. Another thing about these big capital ships is they are lightning fast compared to their smaller counterparts. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the Kakum was definitely fast, but the brig, whenever we finally get like a jib sail and we get everything kind of rigged up as much as we can, there will just be no comparison. Like, the the junk will... Did I say the brig? The Kakum, it was a fast ship, <laughs> but the junk, whenever we get everything, you know, lined up and upgraded and whatnot, she will just completely speed past the Kakum. Like, she's standing still, almost. The one thing I don't like about the brig, however, is... I kind of feel like the splashing is a bit overdone. But it's just a very minor thing. Alright, so... I did buy a mug, right? Yeah, there it is. It's nice being able to just kind of walk around, too. Like, you've got an area to kind of stretch your legs a little bit. Alright, I'm going go to back, I'm gonna go back to bed. You give us some time to sail on, and then I'll see you guys whenever the sun comes up again. Okay, so the sun is just about to peak over the horizon. You can see Sanctuary off there in the distance. Uh, which means it's now time to... Start turning back towards Crab Beach. Yeah, I've got to say... The junk doesn't feel quite as responsive as she used to be. In fact, it feels like you lose a lot of momentum whenever you're turning these bigger ships. So I think what I'm going to need to do, actually, is I'm just going to I'm going to need to turn with the wind. Which I mean, you know, to be fair, it does make sense. I guess I just got spoiled with the with the smaller boats, and I'm trying to go against what physics have to say. Um, so I think that over there is Serpent Isle. It sucks that I lost my spyglass I'm pretty sure that's the dragon cliffs but I think you can just about make out crab beach it's kind of hiding in front of of the dragon cliffs Yeah, 
that just keep turning. I loosen the rudder a little bit. Oh god, if if the junk turns this slow, I don't even want to imagine the brig. over there is definitely Serpent Isle. It's got that other island out there, that other rock. Alright. Well, let's go home and see what the old man has to say about us now. Now that we've got ourselves a big ship. We're moving up in the world. <laughs> Hmm. Once again, we're back to eating nothing but salmon for <laughs> days on end. But I suppose such is the life of being a sailor. Uh, let's see. Bring the mainsail in. And we'll bring you in as well. I've also got to keep in mind, <laughs> well, it might not seem that we're going that fast. We're going pretty speedy. Or speedily. So Crab Beach will probably sneak up on me whenever I'm not really expecting it. I'm so used to the controls being like over here. I keep like running over here to interact with the... <laughs> with the, what do you call these things? You call them FTUs, apparently, okay. <laughs> Sheet winch, is that it? I don't think that's right. Now, well, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll just bring the sails all the way in. Now that's Sanctuary, that's definitely Newport, so... Am 
Might as well go ahead and turn off all the lights. Oh, it's so nice having, like, all this room. I don't have to constantly, like, jump over all the crates and try and wiggle my way through, like, boxes upon boxes upon boxes anymore. Throw in the occasional barrel for my water. <laughs> it's so nice. Aha, there's Crab Beach right there. See, it's so hard to spot because it just blends in so well with the Dragon Cliffs. We're still kind of fighting the wind a lot more than I really wanted, but oh well, whatever. Now let's check out the wake effect for these bigger ships. Eh, nothing real special, is it? I do kind of like how the bow just kind of looks like it's just chopping right through the water. Like, it almost looks like that would be made to kind of break apart ice on impact. I mean, it's probably made of wood, so it wouldn't really be very effective, but... And at the same time, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it kind of runs all along the... the belly of the ship, and it comes up the stern. It's kind of the spine of the boat, isn't it? Yeah, so the reason I put these smaller boxes out here was because I was expecting to be able to take at least one more mission and they'd be bigger boxes and I could put them in here, but it turned out to not be the case and these things don't fit in the in the cargo hatches. Which is kind of unfortunate. I wonder if these things fit comfortably inside the inside the sandbuck. Now that we have the junk, it opens up um, Alonk and Astron. Regions that our characters maybe heard of. Like far off distant lands that he probably never dreamed he'd actually go and visit, but now that he's on board this thing, he can actually brave the open oceans. I'm going to need to turn into the wind a little bit more to, to get to the docks. Thankfully, this is the type of boat that doesn't really care what direction the wind is blowing. I mean, you can't head into a dead, you know, dead onward wind, but you can sail pretty close to it. And this is kind of where I originally wanted to try and start the series. Like, this is kind of what I always pictured having at the very beginning. But at the same time, I thought it'd be kind of cheating to start off with the, with the junk. I'm 
you can see that other boat, it's going into port now. Okay, we're going to have to do some maneuvers here, I think. kind of head towards the beach and then come at the docks at a different angle. Come on, you should be catching plenty of wind. is more or less blowing directly from the direction of the docks because of course it is. Very rarely in this game do you ever get a wind that'll blow you directly to your destination. And the prevailing winds are supposed to sail it or are supposed to blow in the exact opposite direction. <laughs> Yeah, this thing definitely feels like it is not nearly as responsive as it used to be. I'm not real big on that change. Because this thing's responsiveness was its biggest strength. I mean, she might have been maybe a little too responsive in the past. Granted, but... Not quite this bad. Okay, well that other ship is already departed. Like, it feels like we're going slow, but it looks like we're going pretty fast. All right, I think this is good enough time to start bringing in the aft sail. In fact, yeah, we'll just rely on the mainsail to take us in the rest of the way.
All right. Turn out here a little bit. Aim for this bit of the dock. And as we get closer, we'll start to turn in. But I might have lowered that a little too soon. Pull in the stern section of the boat. Oops, that was the wrong button. So to do this, you press the the right mouse button. That way you don't have to like constantly jump back onto your boat. I got that from a comment on uh, some gamer TV's channel. Okay, let's give that some slack. Same thing with you. That way the boat can breathe. All right, let's get you. Unload all our cargo, say hi to our folks, even though we really technically don't have any, but, <laughs> you know, role-playing purposes. I think I'm going to go ahead and just start unloading everything onto the docks. <clears throat> <clears throat> this way it's just easier to run back and forth. Don't have to constantly like jump up on top of the on top of the boat and then wait a second for it to register that you're on board a different entity. Black tobacco. All right. Uh, ooh, actually, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Close that. Then we have some lamb. Curiosity. Do you actually go into the wall or no, you don't? So I could potentially just darn it. Okay, well this works. <laughs> kind of. Not really.
Okay, and one last trick shot. Trick shot. And Kabooey. Dang it. I was aiming too high. And then here we can have sell you. And then we have the, 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 the rice. Bingo. So we're back up to 6,100, which is not terrible. Starting to think we should probably head back to the Sage Hills. Or maybe we could take some tuna to... Ooh. Take some tuna to the Serpent Isle, or maybe just go straight to the Sage Hills. Either way, it's a pretty good surplus. What about just seafood? Yeah. Eel? Bananas? Huh, bananas actually go for a pretty decent price at Sage Hills there. Uh, wine. Oh, actually, coconuts. I mean, I know tuna goes for a lot more. Then again, there's only... Well, I mean, there's only one coconut box. And Dragon Cliffs pays more, but I want to get back to the Sage Hills. Okay, well... Losing, like, a hundred plus Dragon Coins isn't really going to hurt that much. Uh, what do you have for missions? Okay, we have bananas going to the Sage Hills. Coconuts going to the Sage Hills. Okay. Well, tell you what, uh, let's take the coconut. Actually, go ahead and open up all these cargo hatches. Okay, can you fit two in some way or another? What if I were to put you in like that? It's gonna be tight. I don't think it's gonna fit though, but I'm gonna try it. And you will close, right? Without being... Uh, that's... That's fine, I guess. That's... Okay, and then we can get the... Coconuts. Yeah, coconut to Sage Hills. Fine. Do in four days. Yeah, no, you're not gonna fit, are you? No, there's no way. All right, fine. Uh, that just means I can open these up. Put you there. Go ahead and close. Actually, don't go ahead and close that. Close that now. <laughs> uh, let's take... What was it? Tuna, right? Yeah. I think it just went down in price.
might be able to fit that other one in there. Might. Ah, well, I've got two more anyway. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's there's no way. Oh, maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Put you there and then It's an OCD problem, okay? It, it, it's just... I've got to have things looking nice. I don't think this is going to work. As much as I would like it to, I don't think it's going to work. Well, actually, I think there was one other thing I wanted to look at. Yeah, bananas to the Sage Hills. Take three at least. All right, so now that we have all this cargo on board, I'm going to go say hi to my parents, have a little word with them, maybe stay the night at their house, and I'll see you guys in the morning. So, see you then. <sighs> well, it's been real nice seeing you all again. Harry. Jeff. Susan. George. It's uh, been really good seeing you all again. It's, it's been a long time, hasn't it? You're a lot more hospitable than my, da than my dad was. I'm not very happy about this whole me owning a big ship now, but... He can just get over it, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway... Let us cast off once again into the great blue yonder. My old girl, you can do it. I have faith in you.
Okay, once again. Let us make our way for Sage Hills. I think this time I'm going to go around the south of Dragon Cliffs. But I think I'm just going to save this journey for next time, ladies and gentlemen. I've just now noticed the time. This episode is already going on like an hour, which I can't believe. It's already almost 6 o'clock, too. Like, good lord. Ugh. I swear, you blink and your days are done. Like, just... You get home from work, you blink, and it's almost time to go to bed again. It, it's... You get so old, so quick. But anyway, I will uh, see you guys in the next episode. I don't know if I'll be at sage hills or not so uh see you then i guess bye bye